<laughs> Hello, I'm Edgar Wright, and we're here at Trailers from Hell. And today I'm very proud to present a trailer from a fellow British director. This comes from raconteur, restaurant critic, and all-round talent, Michael Winner. Let's call him the great Michael Winner. This is a truly incredible film. This is The Sentinel. You could accuse Michael Winner's films of being shoddily made. You could accuse Michael Winner's films of being in poor taste. But you could never ever accuse them of being boring. And The Sentinel is absolutely not boring. Uh, it's a very uh, entertaining film, in inverted commas. Um, there's, uh, this one particularly is like a post-exorcist uh, sort of uh, studio, major studio horror film. And it's pretty just crazy in terms of how far they go to shock. Um, I like this bit of voiceover here where the voiceover guy says, Turn around, Allison. I like how specific it gets, if only the Allisons in the audience would respond to that. Jeff Goldblum there. Kind of an amazing cast here, like as well as a lot of the kind of veteran cast, you've got Jeff Goldblum, Tom Berenger, um, Beverly D'Angelo, naked, Mr. Skin, thank you. Um, now, what's interesting about this is, like I said, is that it has an infamous climax when Michael Winner decided to cast the denizens of hell as uh, that's the end shot of the film there. And if you actually watch that, you can see that her head is touching the ceiling. Uh, she's obviously on way too many apple boxes. Michael Winner decided to cast the denizens of hell as um, people with deformities. Here they are, oh, you see a little bit of them there, which is in very poor taste. And apparently, here they are. You, he asked the crew to eat with them at lunch to, uh, because they were real people too, and then decided not to because he, he decided not to eat with them because he thought they were too disgusting. Uh, he got, he signed, oh, this is a good bit here. Between happiness. happiness and evil. Cut to a cat. Brilliant. Uh, there's also another, uh, when it gets to lines here, when they cut around the car, Sarah Miles, her line there is, have a hat the noisemaker, which is, you know, like supposed to be a sinister line. I love it. This is brilliantly cut together. My friend who uh, got his auto, uh, Michael Winner's autobiography signed, um, got him to sign it, um, Always Eat With The Freaks. Uh, so here you see some of the veteran cast, which is pretty incredible, and uh, John Carradine weirdly not mentioned there. This film uh, has got to be seen to be believed, really. It really just throws in the kitchen sink, and uh, it's uh, it's rather unpleasant in parts. But um, you know what? You got to give it to Michael Winner. He's 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 got he's got the chops. He knows how to kind of like look at that. You can see some of the. You can see some of the freaks right there. Now, what I love at the end here is it says, from the frightening bestseller, as if we hadn't got that impression already. I stole that little thing for don't.